What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing the best strategies in the game. These are the best strategies in the game, in my opinion, and from my personal experience. I really don't watch a lot of other YouTubers because I end up watching them play the game and then I try to incorporate their play style into my play style and it messes me up. So I just try not to do that because I my gameplay does fall off when I happen to watch another YouTuber. Um, if they're not showing gameplay, I'll watch them. But anyways, right here, your rivals, right? It takes two rivals to unlock one apparel slot. For your next slot, you got you to gotta kill four rivals. For your third one, you got to kill seven. And for your fourth one, you got to kill ten rivals. That's a total of 23 rivals, right? And there's, there's 23 apparels, right? So 23 times 23 is 500, 529 rivals that you're going to have to kill. And that's a grind because... You have to create rivals. All these other schematics are naturally going to come to you. Matter of fact, we're going to go to the experimental ammo. You ready? These, when you unlock this mission to do, they'll naturally come to you. So when you're in a region just killing, you're naturally going to unlock a assault point and a base defense. Right? That's naturally going to happen. But not for your... Um, for your apparel. So you have to create rivals. And how you create a rival is in that region you're in, let's say South Coast, when you're in that region, you have to kill robots in that region. The more you kill, the more you increase your threat level. And that's how you create your rivals, by those threat points in the threat level. As they increase, you, inc you get to get a rival to spawn in and you can only spawn in so many rivals per hour the most i have ever seen happen in my own experience while i was playing was i got three one time one time and i've got twenty four thousand kills total in all the worlds i created i've done a lot of killing a lot of experimenting and i've only ever seen it happen one time i got 14 days played i know people that's got you know, 60, I know someone has got 101 days played. Um, they've seen it a couple times, but for the amount of time I've played, I've only seen it happen once. Um, so, if you're going to farm rivals, this is the best way to do it. Create another world, two and three. And what you do is this. You create the game. You don't do no mission. As soon as it starts off, you go, you use the same character. So you got your OP weapons, you got your ammo you're going to use, and you're just going to go Whew! right through the archipelago region, and you just start killing. As soon as you get a rival, just keep pushing through that region and go right to the farmlands, but kill everything you see on the way through. Do not unlock safe houses. You unlock the safe house that you want unlocked. Because if your game is on multiplayer and you unlock all these safe houses and that person who joins your game has all those safe houses unlocked in their game, they can spawn anywhere that you have a safe house unlocked. So what you're trying to do is you are trying to control where they're going to spawn at in your world. In your world. So what will happen here is when you've created your eight rivals per region... Right? In both worlds, what you do is you turn your game on multiplayer on. And now you have your farming ready. And the reason why you want to go multiplayer, and you can do it by yourself if you want to. It doesn't really matter, but I turn mine on. I let them spawn where I want them to spawn in each region. And I have two regions, I just don't let them spawn. They cannot fast travel there. I just don't let them. They're going to have to fast travel in the locations that I have picked for them to fast travel to. And then they're going to have to run or they're going to have to jump on their motorcycle. And they're going to have to catch up because I'm allowing them to spawn where I want them to spawn. So I'm controlling what they're doing. And I don't have to go to my main menu all the time and kick somebody out the game because they're going to enjoy killing 
all these rivals, doing the base assaults, the base defense, getting all those schematics, because now I'm saving ammo, I'm saving time, and it's pushing it through for the next one, because they're going to want to help me kill some more stuff to create new rivals, right? So it just makes it go by faster. So don't do missions and don't unlock every safe house. You want people to spawn where you want them to spawn. That's the best way to do it. World 4, you do not do anything in World 4. What you do in World 4 is you just create that game, run into the house, and do two objectives. Pick up the gun, pick up something else, and it creates two save points. End your game. And what just happened was all your worlds are tied with the same time zone as world four so now all your worlds are at the start of morning which is daytime basically and now you are at max robots in your game with maximum amount of time spent farming for what you're gonna farm so when you're back in world two or three or one whatever you're doing you're in daytime with maximum amount of bots running around out there and you're just killing them when it goes back to nighttime you end your game, you go back to select world, you delete world four, start up another world four, rinse and repeat and make it daytime again. And you can have daytime infinitely. Let's talk about the difficulty levels. Easy, skirmish, and gorilla. You are not rewarded with anything extra for playing on skirmish. Or gorilla, that's just purely ego and you want to challenge. But you're not getting any extra loot. You're not getting any extra nothing from playing in those levels. And when you're playing on gorilla, you are chewing a hole through your ammo, your med kits, and you're not being rewarded for that. So you're just making your grind twice as hard and ten times longer because you are... It's just not worth it, right? When you put it on adventure mode, the the robots are like little jimmies and they're all slow on sleeping medication and they're slow to shoot you. And then when they do shoot you, you know, you, you're still going to get hurt. When you put it on skirmish, uh, they're faster to shoot you and they shoot you more often. When you put it on gorilla, it's like Mike Tyson has you in the corner of the ring and you're just getting beat on. And you're going through more resources, right? A lot more ammo. And you're just making your grind harder when it shouldn't be. Uh, they're not increasing your reward for playing at that level. So why even play at that level if you are trying to grind to get your schematics, to save your resources, to build up your resources so you can be able to craft the things you want to craft? Do not play it on Gorilla. Because you're not being rewarded with extra schematics. It's not how it works. You're not being rewarded for extra gasoline or extra resources cr to, create, to craft more repair kits because they're just clobbering you down the side of the highway while you're driving your motorcycle. It's not worth it. You're using more resources playing at that level. So that's just ridiculous. You play at that level when you've got the resources and when you just want a little bit of a challenge to mix it up, then turn it on, turn it off. All right. Now let's talk about the apparel again. Um, there is no damage reduction and I've experimented with the first two, the damage reduction for, for the bullet resistance. And then the next one, whatever that was. And I didn't see no difference with the bullet bullet with the bullet damage reduction. There was just nothing there. There is no reduction. Whether on easy, easy, they're just slower to shoot you, but you still take the same amount of damage. The same goes for skirmish, and the same goes for gorilla. You think you have a damage reduction. They're just shooting you faster. Everything is shooting you faster in skirmish. Right? And then in gorilla mode, it's like you're in a Call of Duty lobby with a bunch of PC players just aimbotting you. So <laughs> there is still... No damage reduction. All right. So chasing those apparels, I'm doing it just because I want to have them all unlocked. But there's no difference. Right. Uh, 
it's really crappy that we don't get to unlock all the skills. Because the skills do matter. It, that really does help your game. But we don't get to unlock them all because they want, they want us playing four player, which is absolutely ridiculous. Because you got a bunch of boneheads just running around, just doing what they think, whatever they want to think in your world. Well, if they want that, then make a separate server for that. So then that way can't nobody mess up your world, right? Because I ain't got time for a bonehead to be just coming into my main world because I want to play with somebody and then they screw something up. No. So now you got to create a world for them to mess up that you're not going to care what they mess up. Right? So it's kind of ridiculous that we cannot unlock all of the skill points. So those skill points that you place, they do matter. All right? Um, a weapon that you're going to want to stay away from is the experimental M49 rocket launcher. You get to shoot two rockets with that bad boy. And you're not doing double the damage, okay? So you're wasting a rocket. Yeah, you get a little bit of extra damage, but you're not doing double. So it's not worth the extra shot that's being shot. It's not worth the extra ammo you're using for that. That's a waste. And you're trying to maximize your time spent while playing. If you want to have some fun, you got some extra resources, yeah, then use the experimental rocket launcher. But it's not worth it. Just use the regular legendary one and you're good to go. Stay away from the M49. That's the best advice I can give you guys on this. If you have any questions... Leave a message on the video. I'm going to leave a Discord link in the description. And, you know, you can hit me up in Discord. I hope this guy's... I, I, I hope this helped you guys. Right? Oh, it's a little late for me. It's like 5 in the morning. Um, So, everybody have a good night. I got to get some sleep. And GG.